Hello guys, welcome back to our new video. So this video is going to be a short tutorial on marking shadows. How we can mark shadows to our objects or you can say while you sketch an object or anything. So how and what are the principles of marking the shadows? So whenever you are drawing any object, so how you can give shadows to them? So we'll learn everything in this video and what are the principles of giving proper shadows to your sketch? that all we will cover in this video if it's a cube then where and how it's perfect shadow going to be so we'll cover all this in this video make sure you watch this video till the end and you will learn a lot of things from this video so now let's roll into the video Okay, so first we have to draw a reference line and then I will draw an object for which we have to give shadows. So I am drawing here a cube in perspective and for second example I will draw a house. And then we will look how the principles are applied for giving shadows. So for easy understanding I will use here three colorful pens red, green and black. To make you understand so clearly so at first whenever you are giving shadows so you have to observe the light source from where the light is striking the object and you have to mark the point from where the light source is coming once you have done marking the light source then you have to mark the vertical line from the light source to the reference line that is a perpendicular line to the reference line it will be considered as the projection of the light source to the ground surface. So we have to mark the point on the reference line. Then the next point is marking the points. So here I am using first red pen to mark first two points. Now we have to consider three points that is the two points from the front side and one point from the back side. And then the key point we have to mark the projections from the light source to the object and the projection point to the object so at first you have to mark the two points uh, using the same color pen which are on the same line then use the different color for different two points and mark those two points and then mark the third point so now we are done with marking the three points and you might have question that why we have not considered the fourth point which is at the back side so as you can see when the light source is striking the object the fourth point which we haven't considered is at the back side and whatever the shadow through that point will be it will be covered by the object so we have to consider these three points and not that one and now comes the main step that is we have to place the pen on the light source we have to draw a line from the light source passing the point of an object here we have marked a projection line from light source to the red point which we have given to an object and then the second projection line with the use of green pen we have to follow the same procedure mark the line from the light source to the point placed on the object use the same color pen and then go with the same for the third line with the help of these lines you can see now clearly where the shadow will appear of an object now let's move towards the key step that is we have to go towards the projection point placed on the reference line and then mark lines passing through the points placed earlier on the object we have to follow the same procedure as we have done while drawing lines from the light source similarly we have to draw lines now from the projection point so we'll mark a line red with red green with green and black with black Now first let me make the object dark so that you can understand it clearly.
so you can see the object clearly now and also you can observe the points we have got that are the intersection points of red lines green lines and black lines we have got three points all the three points are the boundaries of the shadow now let's mark the points that are the intersection points which we have got on the red lines green lines and black lines once you are done with marking the points then we have to join those points this is the area which shows the shadow of an object this is how you can give a proper shadow this is the basic principle of giving a shadow to an object now let me show you the clear shadow of an object you see how precise shadow we have got of an object now for house i will follow the same procedure and the area which i will get will be the shadow of an object that is shadow of the house so let's see how i am giving shadow to a house i'll follow all the same principle same rules same method just here the difference will be the point which is at the roof we have to mark the projection of that point and take the projection of that point below we have to take the projection of that point on the ground level and then we have to mark the line from the projection point to that point it will be a little bit messy but you have to observe proper intersection point and then join those lines which will give you the shadow of a house i hope you have got a basic idea of how to give a shadow to an object if you feel this video is beneficial in any way then please like and share so that someone gets the benefit your like motivates me to make more such videos you can comment the topics on which you need a tutorial and i will make one for you if you like this video consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so that you'll get notification every time i post a new video that's all for today and i must appreciate the viewers who are watching till the end thank you so much keep supporting and i'll keep delivering thanks for watching